So in this stack right here are my favorite mouse pads at the moment. Before we start going through the list, one thing I want to mention is that the most important thing for me in a mousepad is the surface feel. I don't really care too much about the stitching or if it has a pour on base or some other sticky glue like base. As long as the stitching does not bother me and the base does not move on my desk in game, I'm completely fine with the pad. Another thing that is important for me as a reviewer is that the mouse pad interacts well with all kinds of mouse feet. For demonstration purposes, I have the Hardy S Plus 4K, the Vaxi XE Wireless, G Pro X Super Lite with stock feet, and the G Pro X Super Lite with G Pro Wireless feet. When it matters, I'll explain how different these feet feel on some of these surfaces. And the last important thing to mention is that at the moment I play all kinds of different games, so it's very important for me that the mouse pad is balanced so it provides very good tracking experience and is good for those precise and fast flick shots as well. I will still quickly explain as to how the glide is on each of these pads but that is something you can expect and let's start going through the list. First one you might have guessed because of the red color and how much I've used this on videos, so this one is the Saturn Pro. The Saturn Pro provides a very very smooth and good experience on pretty much all feet. The larger the feet are, the more control there is, so for example with the XE wireless feed, the mouse pad does feel a little bit slower than it does with the Hardy S Plus 4K that has this small feed. Experience with the Super Light is good, and so it is with the Super Light and the G Pro wireless feed. The Saturn Pro is on the slower side of balanced, so it's very optimal for CSGO. And another thing that makes the Saturn Pro very good is the durability. I've had it for an extended period of time, and there is no sign of wear or tear. It's a very safe choice for pretty much anybody, and in my opinion, it's pretty much the best mouse pad out at the moment. But there is a small problem. There are some issues with the pour on material availability at the moment and the suspected date that this will go on sale again is in June, so it will be a while sadly. You can of course just get the original Saturn, but in my opinion the Pro version is better, as that softer pour on base just provides a little bit more control. But yeah, that's it for the Saturn Pro. I think that this mousepad may just be my most used mousepad in the last year or so. But let's move on to the next one. And here we have the Zawi GSR SE Rouge. And I don't have it right here, but the Vaxi PA is so similar that these two mousepads are in the same for me in this list. Just like the Saturn Pro, the surface is more on the control side of balanced, so it's very good for attack FPS, but still supreme for tracking based games. I think I still hold most my Kovacs tracking records actually done with Vaxi PA and the GSR SE Rouge. Some are with the Hayate Otsu still, but yeah, many are with these mouse pads. One thing that can be considered a positive or a negative is the fact that the GSR SE Rouge and the Vaxi PA do have quite a stiff base, which is optimal for smaller feet, so your feet do not dig into the surface as much. And it can also make the mouse pad feel more consistent if you can't control the pressure that you apply to the mouse pad. Plus, the mouse pad will also feel more consistent if you switch between mice all the time. And and some mice have smaller feet, whereas others have larger ones. Not much else to say, again very good mouse pad for any kind of mouse feet, very balanced, so good for any kind of game. In the last year it's one of my most used mouse pads for sure. Then to the next one, and here we have something that is extremely underrated in my opinion. So we have the Lethal Gaming Gear Venus Pro. This is a slightly rough surface that provides very good feedback through the mouse feet because of the slight roughness. Even though the surface is textured, it behaves very well with the Hardy S Plus 4K that has small feet which are not the best. The roughness or the amount of texture is pretty much in between the Artisan Hayate Otsu and the Hayen. But the key difference in my opinion is that this mousepad is quite a lot slower than the Hayate Otsu, so it's very very suitable for attack FPS. And just like the Saturn Pro, the Venus Pro is also slower than its original version because of the Poran base. But actually the difference between the Venus Pro and the original one is quite massive. That makes the Venus Pro actually very similar in terms of friction and speed to the Saturn Pro. The Venus Pro just has a little bit less static friction in my opinion. 
and it of course has that rough surface which provides feedback. And rather than being a downside, in my opinion that is a massive strength for the Venus Pro. The Venus Pro is also very durable, I've had no issues with it whatsoever and it's also in the past year one of my most used mousepads. Then to the next one and this might be a surprise for you guys if you haven't watched my videos or seen me talk about it before. But this is the X-Ray Pad Arca Control Zero. It is a control pad with some roughness to the surface and it's slower than the other Arca Control versions. It's a similar option to Venus Pro but provides a little bit less speed and more control. I've enjoyed this mouse pad in Overwatch 2, CSGO, Apex and Warzone. For me the surface actually provides pretty much everything I look for in a mouse pad. One thing to mention is that the Arca Control Zero has an updated base which is a needed upgrade as some of the older models had very bad bases. These are basically the main ones that I've enjoyed, but there is one bonus one which I've recently started to use quite a bit because I was a little bit interested. And let's take it out and that is the SteelSeries QCK Heavy. The QCK and its different variations are possibly my most used mousepads while I was a professional gamer and of course one of the best Call of Duty 4 players in the world. The glide on the QCK Heavy is actually quite similar to that of the Saturn Pro and also very similar to an IKEA pad that is very cheap, the Vaxi PA Black or the PB that was uh, available for a very short time. So it has more static friction and dynamic friction than any other mousepad on this list. But there is one question mark with the QCK and it is that how is the durability? It used to be quite bad but I've heard rumors that they have improved it over the years and my QCK that I've used at least two months or so has has not worn out yet at least. I of course can't confirm if the durability is fixed or not just with this use. But the main reason why I wanted to have this mousepad in the list is that even though yeah it's one of my favorite mousepads in terms of the surface feel, I think it's extremely underrated and some of these major brand mousepads are thought to be pretty bad these days but I don't think that's really the case. Whenever I make one of these lists, I always feel that there has to be honorable mentions and this is not an exception. So here I named the Lamsu Energon, the Pulsar ES2 and the Artisan Zero. I haven't used the Pulsar or the Lamsu pads enough to include them in this video and the Artisan Zero is of course a great mouse pad, I just barely end up using it anymore. One thing that I will mention that might be very important for some of you guys is humidity and how humidity proof some of these mouse pads are. For me it's never been really an issue. Humidity is high in Finland but the machine ventilation that for example our apartment has is very efficient so I don't really struggle with the humidity in my space. I pretty much have no humidity issues whatsoever as long as I use a gaming sleeve or just a long sleeve shirt so I'm not kind of sweating on the mouse pad. So those are my favorite mousepads out at the moment. Let me know if there were any surprises for you guys, if you were surprised about the QCK Heavy. Thank you so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.